Hey crafty friends, Laura here with a rare double page layout for Pretty My Page. So hashtag add, it's DT project for Pretty My Page. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I've started off in a kind of unconventional way. Pretty much made the layout because I got so excited about it when I test cut it. I grabbed my papers and I started backing and... And then I got so far and realised, well, what am I doing? I have no photos chosen. Um, I don't know where this page is going. It can't just be prettiness without any photos, because that doesn't work in an album. So I went through every photo I owned, trying to find the right ones. Um, I don't have any whale-watching photos. So I was a bit stuck with things to match with the whales. So I thought, well, I whaley love you, or having a whale of a time, sort of panny titles. So I found some happy photos of Bobby at the beach, having a whale of a time. Now the beach kind of vaguely ties it into whales. You wouldn't see whales at this beach, but I don't think it matters. It is vaguely tied in. And the title, Having a Whale of a Time, hopefully brings it all together. I can say now, I will not be doing layouts this way round again. It, it doesn't work for me. I struggled so much trying to pull it together. Because the, the cut files backed on their pages are done. But I just didn't have any photo to match it. So lesson learnt do things the conventional way. Um, let's talk about the files. So the, the cut file on the right page is the original. It was a doodle on Procreate using the symmetry feature, which I'm a bit obsessed with at the moment. And it wasn't ever intended to be a cut file. But I thought it might work. And I was talking to Lisa Jane Mrs. Pretty My Page and she said well try it and then wouldn't they look good in a, a shawl? So that led to a conversation about well not conversation we looked up we googled <laughs> um, what you call a group of whales so they can be a pod they can be a gam they can be a plump which is just delightful. So we've named one of them a plump and one of them a pod. Um, I'm not sure which way around they are, but they'll both be linked below if you fancy downloading and cutting for yourself. Or if you don't have a machine, you can purchase them from Pretty My Page pre-cut. Here I'm just swapping, changing my mind. <laughs> Wish I did so much with this layout. Uh, and I'm going to now have two photos on the right hand page and three on the left. So the left I'm backing with white card to give them a bit of separation from the whales. But because where the photos will be on the right hand page is on white, I've backed them with some green. I am fiddling around, uh, squeezing them in changing a bit of, un well, unsticking a bit of cut file and popping them underneath so that the photos feel like part of the page rather than just being plonked on afterwards, which we all know is what actually happened. Now, I'm no expert at all with double page spreads, but I what I'm working on here is trying to get Everything that's represented on the right-hand page represented also on the left-hand page. So I've used the same patterned papers. I've brought the blue that is the, the wonky border that's sort of in the top corner. I've brought in as a layer behind the photo on the bottom corner. In, in a way, it kind of frames the layout. And now I'm adding a gold mat behind two photos. Now I need to bring in gold on the other side to
to again tie it all together so that it looks cohesive. I'm matting these two photos on one mat so I'm using my scissors to cut the border rather than using the trimmer. I have noticed I seem to have very little reasoning to what I choose whether I cut with my scissors or whether I cut with my guillotine and watching the video back now it's I, it seems really random I'm wondering to myself what, 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 how do you choose what are you doing no idea right so we're getting them in place that is that side done so now we need to bring the gold over from the left over to the right now I struggle a little bit because how am I going to embellish this? It's already as it is. It, it's enough. I, I can't fit any more on there without, to my eye, it being busy. So I've, I'm using some gold alphas, which are almost exactly the same. And then I've got some tile alphas, which I've backed onto that gold mirror paper as well. So you've got a, a bit of a shiny gold border. Then, to make sure that I'm not using too much of one colour, um, so that it's not all getting too aqua-y or too blue, I have used uh, one, two, three, four different alphas. Again, trying to balance the page so that one side has got the same amount of aqua as the other side. Um, I tried some sequins there. I didn't like them. It's the first time I think I've ever decided that I didn't want to add sequins. Um, strange. Adding the date, and then that's that's it. That's all I can. That's all I can do. I can't add anything else to embellish it. It's done. Uh, I messed up on stamping the date because it wasn't a flat surface, so I just filled that in with a pen and called it done. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you next time.